Hi guys, it's me, Felicia Taylor, and I'm here to talk about something really, really important. And it's me! <laughs> so, while making my first video today, I wanted to take the opportunity to interact with a lot of my supporters, a lot of the people who have followed me and been with me since day one. I want to take a moment to answer you guys' questions. Um, I have actually printed out some of the questions that were submitted to me. If I missed any of your questions, it is not intentional. You always have a way to message me, interact with me, and I promise you, this is not going to be the last video. This is the first video of many, many, many more to come. Thank you so much for tuning. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Like, share, tell your friends about Felicia Taylor, and who knows? Maybe Felicia Taylor will be the next worldwide sensation. So, what are you waiting for? Okay? Okay? Okay, no. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the first question that I have actually in mind, and this is actually an amazing question. I was really hoping that someone would ask me this question because I have a lot of things to say, so bear with me for a moment. Uh, Miss Debbie Sosa, she is an amazing, amazing, amazing friend on Facebook. She is the owner of Glitter Attic Cosmetics. She has been a true inspiration to me. She was the very first person to believe in me, and she sent me an amazing PR package um, that I was so excited about. I did a video, I did a look, I got an amazing response, and then she sent me another one, and I'm just overwhelmed with um, excitement and, and gratitude. So thank you so much, Debbie, for believing in me. Um, Going with your question, Debbie Sosa, where do you want to be in the next three years? Whoa. <laughs> what a question. In the next three years, I hope that I definitely polish my skills as a makeup artist, as an influencer. Um, I don't want to be selfish and I don't want to be like cocky or anything, but I truly believe that I have a passion for this and I truly believe that there is something there. I just got to develop it. So I'm hoping that in three years, my skill will be at a much, much better level, um, that I will be collaborating with major brands like ColourPop, uh, Smashbox, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, I know that I'm shooting for the biggest star in the, in the galaxy, but you can dream, right? <laughs> the next person that submitted some questions to me is Ms. Diane Kirstead Newcomb. Um, she has been an amazing friend as well on Facebook. She's been a huge, huge supporter. Um, she's always on my lives, always commenting on my pictures, always liking my pictures. So I'm really, really excited that she um, volunteered to be part of this opportunity, to be part of my first video. So thank you so much, Diane, for submitting your questions. The first question that Diane asked is, how old are you? I am 22 years young, because I'm still young. Okay. How long have you been married? I am not married. I am in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for almost three years now. I am very happy and I'm hoping that very soon I'll show you guys the ring and I'll tell you the date that I'm going to get married on. Do you have any sisters or brothers? I do. I have two younger siblings. They are boys. Um, one is 16 and the other one is 13. They are a ham, but... That's family, right? Did you always love makeup from early age? And the answer to that is yes. I love makeup for as long as I can remember. Um, growing up, I was in an environment with mostly women. Um, only aunts, my grandma, my mom. My dad was working always uh, you know, overseas. So I only got to see him about once a year. So I basically grew up around women. So I got to see them getting ready, I got to see my aunts play with their makeup, talk about a beautiful necklace, a beautiful pair of earrings, and then the new trends for makeup styles. So I, I grew up around that. And I remember my first experience with makeup was probably when I was about eight years old. I wanted to play with makeup so bad, but I didn't, I didn't know how to make it okay you know, because my family is very close minded and very, you know, old school. So I wanted to find a reason to play with makeup that it was okay. So I asked my mom to give me all her old makeup that she didn't want. 
and I used to make drawings on paper and I would kind of make like a face chart trying to pretend that I was making you know someone's makeup but it was a drawing so I would do the eyes I would do the shadow and then I would do the blush I would do the lips and I probably still have those drawings somewhere in my memory box and that's how I started doing makeup and then eventually I started applying it on myself and and I got in trouble and might have gotten beaten a few times but I've had a passion for makeup for as long as I can remember so this goes way, way back. The next person that submitted a question was Amanda Murao. Amanda said, do you get any hate for doing makeup? Girl, <laughs> yes. It's been an obstacle. Um, it has been an amazing um, challenge, I guess, test to see how, how serious I am because some people get discouraged so easily and as soon as I get they get the first you know sign of hate they're like okay I'm stopping and, and they don't continue and I didn't want to go through that so that's why it took me such a long time to finally get around to it and do it because I was so scared of you know what people would say and, and the hate that I would get but I got to this point in my life where you owe nothing to no one but yourself and your life is your life. No one else is going to live your life for you. And if you try to live your life the way that people expect you to live it, you're not really living your own life. You are trying to fit to the image that society has defined as okay. And that's not okay. What's okay is following your dreams, following your instinct. And the hate that I've gotten hasn't really discouraged me. It's kind of amazed me because I did not expect that coming from some people. But it's kind of also shown me that there, there's always a double side to someone and there's always a two-face to someone. The next question that she has, where are you from? I am from Mexico, born and raised. This is why I have an accent. Where do you dream on living in the future? I've always wanted to live in California, LA, um, Beverly Hills, that area. I've always felt in my mind that I was a superstar, that I was a famous person. So every time that I would, you know, play with my friends and stuff, we would play celebrities and I would play the super, superstar. So I, I've always kind of like fantasized about living in California, Beverly Hills. Obviously, it's a very far-fetched kind of dream, but I would like to see it and, you know, at least try it out for a year and see what it's like. What are your goals in the makeup industry? My goals in the makeup industry is to become a world-known uh, beauty influencer, beauty guru, beauty uh, enthusiast, uh, a reviewer, um, maybe even a makeup artist. But I am very passionate about cosmetics and, and the beauty industry. So just the fact that I get an opportunity to talk about a product, to talk about an experience using a particular product, uh, um, just surprises me and amazes me so I want to make that my my job eventually so my goal for this industry is to find a way to make this happen and find a way to make this my job do you wear makeup daily I don't um, unlike other people I put my face on take some pictures make a video and then wash it right off um, it is just my personal preference I typically don't like going out in makeup not saying it's wrong for those who do it's just not me. Um, I like doing makeup more for the reaction, you know, the the this reaction you get out of people when they're like, oh my God, look at you. Oh my God, is that really you? Oh wow, that's a very nice foundation. Oh wow, look, that's a very nice texture. Ooh, you're so pigmented in your eyeshadows. That's what I like. But I don't really like to, you know, go out in it. My favorite makeup brand. My favorite makeup brand so far is ColourPop, only because it's so, so affordable, and their packaging is simple but cute and right to the point, and their products are really, really, really good. Um, so far, my experience with ColourPop is that the products are very creamy, very buttery, very pigmented, very affordable, and they're always coming up with things that, you know, keep up to date with the trend and keep up with what's going on in the world, in the beauty world. So. I love ColourPop and it's my favorite brand so far. My favorite makeup brushes. My favorite makeup brushes right now are Murphy. Uh, Murphy brushes. I love them. So affordable, very durable, very professional. And they just feel really nice on your hand when you're using them. So uh, Murphy brushes is right now my favorite brand for brushes. And where do I buy my wigs? Girl, I'm still trying to figure out what is the best place to get wigs. 
that are on a budget. So my wigs right now come from China. <laughs> and I don't think they look too bad, right? The next person that submitted a question, and that's Dana Hart. Thank you so much, Dana, for participating. Um, what is your reaction when haters hate? Do you have a supportive family? Have you thought about writing a book about your life? Well, it's very uh, similar to the answer uh, to the question I answered earlier. I do get some hate. Um, my family, I guess my closest relatives that know that I do this are supportive, but the vast majority of my family doesn't know that I do this. So I can't answer that question just yet, but if they don't know that and I haven't had the gut to tell them, it's because there's a high chance that they may not be supportive. But I do have a very supportive Facebook family and a very supportive uh, group of friends that really, really empower me and lift me and encourage me. And this is everything I need. The next person that submitted a question is Kathy Denniston. I see you are married. Is your spouse male or female? Do you have any children? What is your favorite makeup brand? Well, first of all, I am not married. As I mentioned earlier, my spouse or my boyfriend is a male. <laughs> I do not have any children. I do have a doggy that I love like he was my kid. Uh, he is 14, so he is kind of like a grandpa but he's adorable. I love, love, love Prezi. Have you ever thought of performing anywhere? Actually, I do drag as a, as a side thing, so anytime I get a chance to participate at a contest or a competition, I try to sign up. So I have competed in a few shows before, uh, haven't won so far, but I haven't been on the bottom either, so I'm doing something right. Very soon I'm gonna win, I guess. Um, I admire you and your positive attitude so much. How do you build your confidence? Thank you so much for letting us ask you questions. That's very nice of you. Thank you for saying that. Um, how I stay so, how I stay positive, and how I stay with a you know positive and energetic uh, personality. I have been through so much in my life that I don't have time to worry about the bad things. I have no time for hate. I have no time for uh, drama. I think that the best way to live your life is by being happy, by always finding the positive in things and always making the best out of what you have. And the other person that submitted questions was Amanda DeWild. How do you get so damn beautiful, girl? But really, when did you start doing drag? <laughs> How do I get so beautiful? Oh, well, that's a really hard question. <laughs> well, as you can tell, pure makeup, honey. Pure makeup and a nice bone structure. When did you start doing drag? I started doing drag this year, seriously, um, but I've been interested in doing drag for about two years. But this year I've been doing it more seriously, so I can say for about 10, 10 months or so. So I'm still a newbie, I'm still learning the do's and don'ts about the, the drag industry. Um, the last person that submitted a question, and that was today, so you made it, Crystal. Um, Crystal Marie Irvin, what are your most favorite must-have products and why? My most favorite product right now is my Urban Decay Electric Palette. It is a must-have and here is why. That palette is extremely pigmented. Um, you need very little product to pull off the look that you want. It is very blendable, so if you're trying to make a smoky eye, perfect, easy to blend. If you're trying to make a cut crease, perfect. You can easily do that. Or if you want to make a more dramatic look, you can do that. There's plenty of colors in that palette. And more than anything, it's very affordable. Okay, you guys. So this concludes my video. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I know this was a little bit longer than you probably thought. So I really thank you for being there. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button more importantly so that you guys can get notified, can keep up to date with what I'm doing and get notifications for my next videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. It's me. <laughs> okay. Why am I so corny?